Hi, I'm Steve Millett. Welcome to this video. I show you how I use Adobe Bridge for culling my images and adding metadata and keywords. Um, it's a bit of a follow-on video. My last video that I did, um, it was a workflow from sports photography where I used Adobe Bridge for doing the culling and metadata, and then DxO Photo Lab for editing the photos. In this video, it's a bit more in-depth look into um, how I actually use Adobe Bridge. It's not just for my sports photos. I use it for all my culling and adding keywords and metadata. DxO Photo Lab isn't the best tool for uh, doing the metadata, so I find that Adobe Bridge is, is far better. Um, so I'll just show you how, about, how I go about doing that. So the first thing I do after a shoot, um, I'd copy all the images from my memory card onto an external drive uh, just for a backup really I don't like working on the images off me um, on me memory card um, for don't like culling and adding keywords and things on from them images so I'll just copy them onto a external hard drive a fast fast hard drive that I can work on to Samsung T7 as you can see and these are the images that uh, I'm going to use so I've just copied these from my memory card into a folder on that external hard drive. The first thing I do, I just do a quick call, which is quite quite simple in Adobe Bridge. Um, I, I use a, a star system, I label with stars. You could you can do it any way you want really. You can you could do colour labels, star labels, whatever you want, but I just use a simple, I just I'll go through and I'll just three star anything that I want to think needs further work. So to do that in uh, Adobe Bridge, you're going, I go into the film strip section at the top. And if you just click on an image, it'll come up in a larger, larger view. So you can just use your arrow key to scroll through the images. Now I have a Wacom tablet set up and an express key. I have an express key to three stars, five stars, and no stars. I only use the three stars really. Uh, I just go through and anything I want to further work. I think I might work further on DxO Photo Lab. I'll three star. So it's quite quick and just use the right key and then just do a three star. Uh, like I said, there's different ways of doing it. You can, uh, for adding the, the labels, uh, a three star label, you can do it using a uh, command three on the Mac that I'd add a three star, but you can, oh, like I was saying, you could actually use colors if you wanted. There's different ways, different workflows. You sort of choose yourself which would be the best thing for you to use, but I use a three star. So I just quickly go through the images and anything that I think needs further, I could. For looking at further, maybe a bit of work on in DX or Photo Lab, I'll just give it a three star. It's quite quick to scroll through and give three, you know, give these images stars. Um, so in this instance, there was two hundred and forty-five um, images, and if I look at the ratings, I picked fifty. I picked fifty-three um, images that I thought need further work. So at this point. The images I wouldn't add the metadata here or the keywords what I'd do I'd I'd do it again um, I like to keep a backup so I wouldn't work on these images I would copy these I would just command a and then I'd copy all these to a, another folder um, a working folder that uh, on a, another hard drive I got attached to my Mac mini <clears throat> so I would just copy over I'd create a, a folder in my, uh, my working folder and you can see I've already done this but um, I would create a folder and copy all them in images to that folder so once they're done this is where I would go into my working folder and that was the 28th of June so these are all the images that are three star I think right I need further work doing on these um, now I look at adding my metadata. Well, to do this, I use um, a metadata template, which is quite easy to set up in uh, Adobe Bridge. If you uh, go into the tools, you can create a metadata template 
which is what I've done. I've done this already. Um, it's quite easy to do. I'll just set one up here um, just to show you that it is quite easy. If I just do a YouTube test metadata template. And if you go down, you can the fields of what you want to actually add to the meta add to the metadata. So you can put your, your I could put my email in here. Um, I'll have to get a short an email address, I think. So if you wanted that add in your website, there's there's lots of things you can actually add. Um so I'll just save that. I'll just change that to copyrighted so I can add all this bit. If I save that, now if I command A all these images. And I could add the metadata that I've just the template that I have just um, saved. You can see it's come up here in the drop down list of edit metadata template. Well, if I wanted to add all the that metadata that I've saved, I can just say replace metadata template with that. What I will do, I will use the one I always use, my copyright. So this is all the info that I want putting into this metadata. As you can see, if I just um, show down this side what we've got. So I've got my name, the country, website, email, where, this is where most of my images are taken. You could change this, there's me, copyright notice, it is, then it's copyrighted. So that has been added to all of these images. The next thing I'd look at is is doing the uh, is keywords. I use keywords a lot because DxO Photo Lab, which I use for editing my photos, you can use projects, but I find um, I'd rather use keywords. It's got quite a strong search uh, field in uh, DxO Photo Lab. So if if you add keywords to your photos, it's quite easy to to actually find your photos, and I find this better than using the projects in DxO Photo Lab. But this um, so it's quite easy to add your keywords um, if you click on the image you want to change the uh, key add keywords to you can go over this side the essentials and then you've got a keyword list here now this is where you can actually you, you can actually import keyword lists so you can just create your own and this is a keyword list that I've created that everything's in here for me there's my sport and everything's there um, it's quite easy to set these lists up. You can just say, if you say um, new keyword, and then I could put anything in there. I'll just put new keyword. And then under that, if I wanted, I could put a sub keyword. So I'll just put sub under there. And then if I wanted to add that to any image, you just click on the tick and that will be actually on the keyword has been added to that image not something what i do for this uh, obviously i'll uh, that was a raw deer that's the usual see uh, view of a raw deer that you see when they see you that's it you see the the backside heading away uh, running away from you so i'll just take that off i'll we'll actually delete that before uh, i forget so if I wanted to add a raw deer to this image, I could just put a search in for my key in my keyword list and say raw deer, and there it is. It's also I've also got under here. I have got. I think that was a, it's a door. So if I click on door, it's a sub keyword of raw deer, and the Latin names there too. So if you have a look, it, it's. And then above that is deer and then mammal. So all these keywords have now been added to that image. You can do multiple selections. So these, um, that's a red deer. So the same thing, I'd find, I could find red deer. There it is. Uh, that is a young stag. So if I do stag and it will add the Latin name, red deer, deer and mammal. To all them images so it is quite quick to add these keywords if you have the keyword 
list set up. I mean, uh, for sports photography, I have one uh, set up for the Barra Raiders. So I even have um, the team. So these are the players with the numbers. Uh, Barra Raiders, Rugby League, Sport. So it's quite easy to add keywords to images uh, using Adobe Bridge. Um, if I go in, I'll show you why I do actually do that in uh, in DX in DXO now. If I go into my uh, photo library, you can actually use um, a search. If I put red deer and they are it's showing me there's 33 images with red deer as a keyword and that is why I use um, keywords so I keyword all of my images it's just a fast way of finding images in the future if you have a keyword on them uh, it's quite easy, easy to find images it's very it's quite a powerful tool Adobe Bridge I'm sure there's lots of things in here that well, I, I never use, but there's, there's quite a few. The, the filters are very handy. Um, you could look down here and you can filter images. You know, If I wanted to just see the red deer images, I can filter because I've added the keywords for red deer that are there. Um, there's lots of things in here. The lens that you used, if you see even there. my uh, The lens I use for a while, I've got a built-in teleconverter, so it's, I can filter to the ones where I have actually used the built-in teleconverter on the images. It's it's quite a, quite a powerful tool uh, with these filters and things. So uh, that is just a, a quick overview of how I use uh, Adobe Bridge for culling, um, adding metadata and keywords uh, to my images. Um, next video thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go a bit more in depth into how I use um, DxO Photo Lab. For editing me sports images just how I set the presets up and uh, that'll be a short video there's not a there's not a lot of editing involved in sports photography really mainly cropping and so uh, that is the next thing I'll, I'll be looking at right thanks a lot for watching bye